Fargo is showing some signs of a big city problem. Depending on where you are in the time of day, a form of gridlock can leave a motorist frustrated and going at a snail's pace. Valley News Team's Callie Hubbard explains the computer software that's being used to try and ease the pain. Nobody's lollygagging log here. Lots of traffic. It's intersections like 45th Street and 32nd Avenue South, especially during the morning and afternoon drive times that are creating headaches for anyone behind the wheel. Getting very crowded, especially uh, during rush hour traffic. Even if you're in a hurry, there's no reason to block traffic. What they're talking about is gridlock or a growing form of it in Fargo. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say gridlock. I don't think Fargo really has much for gridlock. <laughs> Whether it's gridlock, inconsiderate drivers or slower than usual lights changing at intersections, we didn't find too many people chuckling as they weave their way from one point to the other. I think it's inconsiderate. You should stop behind the bike pass and just wait till it's your turn to go green. You start inching out there, you're blocking everybody waiting to get that shot at a turn. It's, that's a little inconsiderate. As far as the street lights after public outcry, police in the city looked into the timing issue. There's only so much you can do with the signal. Um, and the road can only handle so many cars. Gordon says he doesn't think it's an issue. He watches each light from a software system on his computer. It's the construction nearby that's dumping the flow to big intersections. The city of Fargo and Fargo police say now it's your turn to be courteous, patient, and to not be that person that stops in the middle of the intersection. In Fargo, Callie Hubbard, Valley News Live. And keep this in mind as you're driving. If you're blocking traffic, police could pull you over and give you a $20 ticket.